Nico, I know it's it's disappointing loss again, but you did some you did, made some strides, but you also had a change in quarterback. What was just kind of your thoughts? Did you notice a big difference, an energy change? Just what was what, what did you notice the most about when Sean was in there in this game? Sean came in and controlled the huddle. You know that's uh, surprising to see from a young guy, but he came in. You know when he first came in, he had that fumble, and you'd expect guys to come back shaken up. But he wasn't shaking up about it. You know, all the guys rallied around him, and he was able to bring everyone up, bring the energy back. You guys had a lot of momentum there going into that last possession. Did you think you were going to drive down there and score and tie it up? Definitely. You know, uh, everyone on that sideline believed we were going to be able to come back. We were going to make the comeback happen, score, go for two. You know, did get it, it done. Did it surprise you that Sean wasn't the quarterback for that last series, or did it? You know, it's just uh, we get into two-minute mode. You know, uh, Sean doesn't didn't really practice doing that, so it wasn't too much of a surprise. But um, we'll get him up to speed with, with all that. The focus that's been on you as a running back this year, to, to have him come in at quarterback and be able to run the way he did, how much did that help you with your running game? That helped a lot. You know. The defense was uh, keying me a lot this game. So when I play action, Sean keeps it, was able to make a play, was able to uh, fight through contact, keep his knees pumping. You know, it didn't go down on first contact. That's like real surprising to see uh, from quarterbacks. And you know, it just shows how much of a competitor he is. What'd you say in your touchdown run? How'd that develop? Um, I saw it was soft on the backside. So I cut it up. And when I saw him diving at my knees, I just drove my knees. and. Saw green grass. No, I know it's look next game, but you know you guys are you got to win out to get bowl eligible. You know not that you're not going out to win every game, but is there more of a sense of urgency? And is there maybe new uh, kind of a new sense? Because now I don't know if Sean's going to be the starter or not. That's the coach's decision. But now that he's in in play, is there kind of a a new sense of direction offensively now with 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 Sean and and, and moving forward in these last few games? Yeah, I mean he's definitely going to be involved in the offense more. I don't know if he's going to start or not. That's not my job. But um, no, he's definitely going to have an essential part in this offense. And you say we have to win out. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that we can win out and we will get to a bowl game. I'm not too worried about that. We have the guys on our team with the ability to win out. These uh, last four games are winnable games, and I believe that we can do that. Is this one particularly frustrating just because the defense was able to kind of hold down that offense that had been so prolific all year? Yeah, I mean, defense played one heck of a game. They did a great job. We just need to get better on offense and special teams. It's, just, it's frustrating. You know, I, I'm not on the defense, so I can only imagine how frustrated they are to uh, put them to a stop, and then we go out there and get a three and out, and then go three and out. So, um, no, that's something we need to improve on, and they just need to keep doing what they're doing.